So last year I was sent a copy of The Dentist and The Dentist 2 on Blu-ray by Jason Carr, who is a wonderful subscriber, friend, supporter, everything like that. And unfortunately last year I didn't get the chance to check this one out, but a few days ago I got the chance to check out the first one. I still haven't seen the second one, maybe next year, we'll see, I'll talk about that later. But I finally watched it and I do want to talk about it because this movie is absolutely wild. This isn't a formal review or anything, it's just kind of this I finally watched type thing. I hope you can hear the sirens in the back, it kind of goes with the, the vibes of the movie. But The Dentist is one of the... I don't want to say one of the craziest movies I've seen, but just one of the the funniest and and like stupidest, but it, but still in an entertaining way. And just right off the bat, this movie is terrible. Like like it's awful. There's almost nothing good about it. But oh my god, it's so fun to watch. I I mean, it's like an hour and a half, and I don't think the first kill happens till almost an hour into the movie. But you're watching this g dentist guy who catches his wife cheating on him with the pool boy, which already is is funny enough, and then he's like relating everything to like teeth. He's like, people decay all the way down to the roots, just like their teeth and their gums. And, and it's so funny because he's narrating the whole time. And I, I, I mean, spoilers, whatever, spoilers. If you haven't seen the movie, do I recommend it? No, actually, if you're not sober, I recommend it, but if you're sober, no, I don't recommend it. I'm not promoting it, just saying it, but I assume that this is him, like, narrating from the psych ward, whatever place, insane asylum that he, that he's in, that it's shown at the start where he's doing his, like, dentisty, dentistry, whatever the word is, magician type stuff, and then title card, and then we go to it, and, and it's, it's hilarious, and there's so many things about this movie that's so funny. The main thing is the lead performance. It is so horrible, but in the best way possible. It's like something like The Room, like Tommy Wiseau in The Room. It's so explosive. Like right away in one of the first opening scenes, he's like yelling at his wife for not getting like the stain out at the dry cleaners and not getting his like diamond cufflings or something. And then she like gives him the present in the next scene. He's like, oh my God, I love you so much. Like he totally switches like absolutely insane. And, and it just continues like that. The whole movie where he'll be like, kind of normal and then he'll just go off the rails for like a scene and then he's back and it's not in like a balanced way like it's just like oh it happens and it doesn't oh it happens and it doesn't oh it happens and it's so funny because of that and it makes it all the more entertaining it definitely was not on purpose it's not a movie that doesn't take itself seriously it takes itself very seriously and, and thinks it's a drama but it's so funny and another thing is the the camera lenses specifically just just the shots overall they're hilarious my favorite ones are are the lenses when they're really close up to their face and it like warps people's faces and, and it just makes it even funnier and then you get like the hallucinations it basically just feels like that scene from elf where he's like almost passing out and then you know buddy like falls on the elf and you see like the jack in the box thing go like this there's a lot of sequences in this movie that look like that one thing i will give it credit for is that some of the kills are pretty cool and, and there's some there's some scenes that are like ooh, that's pretty gross so i know that's kind of what it's going for when you have the sound of like teeth being scratched obviously that's uh that's pretty gross and and any dentist trip is not a good trip in my opinion, um, and I think most people will agree. And my letterbox review just said this is an average dentist trip for me, or something like that. But even early on, when you have like the kid where he like pokes his gum and his mouth starts bleeding, like that isn't anything extreme. I don't really know why that's the extent of it. I mean, I get it's a kid and everything, but like every time you go to the dentist, are you telling me that you don't bleed a little bit? They don't poke you and you don't bleed a little bit when they're stabbing at your gums? Because everybody I talk to, that's what happens. That's what happens to me. So I thought that was pretty funny. And then, like, he gets poked in the mouth. And then he has, like, blood all down his face. But there are some moments later on where, you know, it's the one on the cover here. Like, this one. I mean, this art makes it look like this is, like, a really cool kind of, like, B-movie. Um, it's not. It, it definitely is. I feel like as time has gone along, people know it as not a super well-made movie and it's just entertaining but it doesn't feel like um any of those types of movies um i haven't seen a ton of them i forget what the exact genre is called it's like right there but i can't think of what it is um but the problem with this movie is that it takes itself too seriously which makes all the scenes even funnier and even worse in the end i can't imagine the second one is any bit better than this like at all anywhere close 
it's hilarious, as I've said a million times, and there is one kill that is pretty cool where he, like, puts, uh, he injects something into her neck and you kind of, like, see it go and, um, she has, like, brain aneurysm and dies or whatever, and that scene was pretty cool, but again, it's just the way it's shot that is so funny, and the acting is absolutely absurd, and it, it just jumps around, it's so tonally imbalanced, sure there's some fun horror stuff but it is awful it's terribly written it's terribly directed terribly acted um there's random appearances like mark ruffalo's in it who has a somewhat creepy scene with like the the girl who's waiting to get her braces off which is just a little odd and i forgot about that the girl gets her braces off saying i will brush three times a day i won't eat any candy and then he's like oh okay never mind i won't kill you anymore like shit like that is insane it sounds funny and then when you watch the movie it makes it a million times funnier. So if you haven't seen this movie, as I said, it can be a non-sober watch. I just can't, with any part in me, recommend this to anybody. But you know what? I'm glad I watched it. Uh, of course, I always appreciate when people send me stuff, so thank you so much, Jason. And I had a fun time watching it, as I said. Like, you could watch bad movies, but I'd rather watch a stupid bad movie than a boring bad movie. And I think most people agree on that. The Dentist is hilarious. It's dumb. There's some cool horror moments in there, but nothing scary, um, some bloody stuff that's, eh, but, uh, you know what, I had a fun time watching it, it's a terrible movie, but I had a fun time watching it, but if you've seen The Dentist, let me know what you think of it down below, and thank you all for watching, I will see you guys next time, over and out.